And then a fastball for a strike. Quickly it's 0 and 2. Ruiz then Corey Dick. You know, we shared you the graphic before about the White Sox and all the time since May 12th. And it reaches up and makes a nice catch. Here's Dickerson who struck out his first time and he pops up on a first pitch change up and it goes back. I do the open for us. You know when I'm some, sometimes down there in the bullpen. Well the the actual door to the bullpen. And a good back foot cutter to strike out Dickerson for the second time. Good veteran hitter. But a better pitch. And emails that have already gone back and yeah, forth yeah. between stadium ops. And SNY Master Garcia doubled down the right field line his first time. This time grounds one for Alonzo, picks it on the backhand, and <laughs> two, one. <laughs> oh, and then I spoke with Tommy Pham about field. Play is made, one away. And, you know, he's been telling me that I'm no longer a Met. That's when I'll start thinking about it. Now, Ron, I do believe it seems like a, a probability that you will be moved. Yeah, I definitely went through it, Steve. I, I think the strangest. So you've spent your entire year just locked in step. Experience as Ruiz looks to make this play. And does not on the injured list for the long. We'll get there, and it drops for a hit. So given the extra life. On the error charge to Ruiz. Extremely deep. Former teammates exchanging his first time up. Well, the other piece about it, and David Robertson really expressed this in the day. You know, I, I mentioned in the open, you start to look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, the pulls went just foul. But I think in the end, and that's drilled to center field. Call coming on, diving, and he makes the catch. He pulls that one foul. First fastball he's seen, one and one. And Gary, the final. That's line toward the middle, and Garcia with a beautiful pickup, and he throws him out. That's it. MLBshop.com. Well, tomorrow allowed two hits. Third hit. Can over quickly to cut it off. Vargas a stop and goes back. Well, now that. Mark is an assist machine. Yeah, that's right. I mean, walked his first time up. He fouls it away, and it's nothing in two. Snap throw by Alvarez, and back to first is Vargas. Speculation, and we're right, and Canna's right there. And Dom's now off one out. Those numbers. Well, it's called trying to bunt his way on and fouls it off. 10 against you. Mm. The most at bats against you was Tom Browning. He went over for 11. But that wow. building's across the street in uniform. Alvarez with the throw to second and out at oh. second base. Play. Alvarez almost hit Scherzer in the head with the throw. Just barely. And he rockets one foul down the left field line. Two and two. You know. Two two coming. Curve ball hit on the ground softly to his left Beatty. The running throw, not in. Good call there. Baez. That's pulled down to Alonzo right at the bag for the third out. C.J. Abrams hit it fifth. Brett Beatty leads off against Mackenzie Gore. Beatty struck out his first time up. Did last night. And Beatty takes below the knees, 3 0. Oh. Well, David Robertson is top notch reliever. They lead the Tigers 4 to 1 tonight in the seventh. Foul back 3 and 2. Last wow. year. As for the players, the Mets got back. That's outside ball four, and Beatty draws a leadoff walk. Be looking to get back. Clearly, Billy Upler and his two, twofold. One, don't the Mets need pitching more than anything else in their system? The fans would want it done is because of a push on the other end. Right. Rate the trade yeah. market even than the days before the deadline. In other words, like so they had to maybe be more uh, aggressive. Another walk, so back to back walks to the eight around the league. If I were an owner of a ball club, I would be. Some of their expiring contracts with guys like Fam or Canna or, or Rayleigh. To help the bullpen, and I was looking up a trade uh, the Mets made a few seasons ago, at the league level. 
Um, but you didn't get a lot for Addison Reed, who was having a huge year. And the Mets, they made other do better chance of producing yeah. a couple of good major leagues. If you got 10, maybe two uh, come out. If you right. only have three, it's a league. All the teams have teams. So they're playing against each other and they're watching all these players. In professional baseball, right. just, I mean, that the Mets have a far flung group of, of the way this team has underperformed expectations. At the left. And he takes that one down, and now it's three and two. So Gore all of a sudden losing. Major leaguer, and you're not ready for the major leagues. I'm like, I don't know what to say to you. I'll try my best. Of minor league players, well, didn't really exist when you were trading. Well, you know, play. Every year, a lower, lower percentage of high school players are being drafted. In. And Brandon. And that's the first out of the inning. So that and he takes the curveball down for ball one. First with one out, and Lindor takes a fastball for a strike, and it's one and one. It stranded four runners in the last three innings. They got the first two men on base in this, one. and Lindor hit plenty of room. That's the second out. It's on Pete Alonso. He just popped up and grounded out over two. Up and into Alonzo, ball one. And a high curve ball, and now Gore behind 2 0. Great the trade yeah. market even than the days before the deadline. In other words, like so they had to maybe be more uh, aggressive. Another walk, so back to back walks to the eight. Around the league. If I were an owner of a ball club, I would be. Some of their expiring contracts with guys like Pham or Canna or, or Rayleigh. To help the bullpen, and I was looking up a trade uh, the Mets made a few seasons ago at the league level, um, but you didn't get a lot for Addison Reed, who was having a huge year. And the Mets, they made other do better chance of producing yeah. a couple of good major leaguers. If you got ten, maybe two uh, come out. If you right. only have three, it's a league. All the teams have teams, so they're playing against each other, and they're watching all these players in professional baseball. Right. Just, I mean, that the Mets have a far flung. Group of, of the way this team has underperformed expectations at the left, and he takes that one down, and now it's three and two. So Gore all of a sudden losing major leaguer, and you're not ready for the major leagues. I'm like, I don't know what to say to you. I'll try my best. Of minor league players, well, didn't really exist when you were trading. Well, you know, play every year a lower, lower percentage of high school players are being drafted, in. and Brandon. And that's the first out of the inning. So now and he takes the curveball down for ball one. First with one out. And Lindor takes a fastball for a strike, and it's one and one. It stranded four runners in the last three innings. They got the first two men on base in this inning. And Lindor hit plenty of room. That's the second out. It's on Pete Alonso. He just popped up and grounded out over two. Hmm. Up and into Alonso, ball one. And a high curve ball, and now Gore behind two and oh. 